Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. Uh, I've been tagged. Uh, this is going to be a Q&A session and um, Joel 3D Printing Nerd has asked me to answer the following questions. Number one, what was the first thing you 3D printed? I think it was a whistle. The whistle on Thingiverse. And it didn't turn out too well. I didn't have my bed level. It turned out like spaghetti. It was pretty bad. Question number two. A popular 3D printer that you don't like. Well, apart from the obvious MakerBot. Um, they're pretty good. Some kits leave a lot to be desired. Um, some of the Folger Tech ones are a bit iffy. Um, but apart from that, no, I haven't had really bad experiences with any of them so far. Okay, question three. A popular 3D printer that everyone else seems to hate but you love. Well, this is a bit of an interesting one because most of my printers are 3D, uh, are, my 3D printers are Chinese um, imports. For instance, this is a E-Cube Maker Fantasy Pro 2, which you've probably never heard of, but it is an extremely good printer from China. Um, the printer that's over here is the uh, JG Aurora which is also an excellent printer, but you've probably never heard of it. So a lot of people like to rat out and bag out the clones, but they're just as good, if not better, as the thing that they were cloned from. Okay, question four. Must have printing 3D gadget. Well, there's a couple. The first one is a proper nozzle cleaning kit. These are on Amazon and you can also get them on uh, eBay. Basically, they're a tiny little drill bit which is designed to fit straight up the hot end. So whenever you got a jam, you stick this up its wazoo, twist it, and then out comes all the crap and you're up and printing again in no time. Really, really easy. Uh, the only downside is, as you can see, I've got one left. They're so fine that they just break. But buy a few. Highly recommended. The second thing is a good print surface. Now people use um, painter's tape, which is meh, or glue stick, or hairspray. But uh, after you've been doing it for a while, you just don't want to put up with the crap. So. Spend some money and invest in a proper print surface. This one is called a zebra zebra plate. Um, I'll put the description for this in the links below. Uh, basically, anything that you print on this will stick like shit to a blanket. It does not come off. The good thing is you don't need to scrape either because it has a slight flex to it. So when you want to get your print off, you just unclip this and then print comes off. Best invention ever. Little pricey, but like I said, after you stuff around with painter's tape and capped on and glue, pays for itself in no time. And that, that'll last you a year, no worries. Um, what's next? Uh, best free or low cost 3D printing software. Well, I was on the fence for a while to buy Simplify 3D or not. And it took me quite a few months to actually just jump in and do it. But in saying that, I don't use anything else now. I started off using Cura, which is okay. It's free. Can't complain with free. But it was pretty limited. Um, Slice is really good. I actually got better results out of Slicer than Cura. But um, since I've gone to Simplify 3D, no comparison. It's the best. It's about 150 US. If you're on the fence, just do it. You're not going to regret it. Everyone loves it that's got it. I haven't heard a negative thing about it. Um, number six. Best 3D printing tip. Well, use... I'm going to steal from Joel a bit because it's, it's obvious. You need to use a really good quality filament. 
Um, I'm not talking stupid expensive rolls for every print because that's just not cost effective. Find a brand that you like and stick with it. I really like the Auraram filament, which is Australian made. Um, and unless your bed's level, nothing's going to stick. The layers aren't going to stick properly. It's just going to look like rubbish. So level your bed, level it again, maybe one more time for good luck. And then, um, yeah, use a good, good quality filament and you really can't go wrong. Um, now, I would actually like to add another question here, number seven. My favorite print ever would be the T-Rex model from Thingiverse. I'll put the, um, the link in the description. But um, if you print this without supports and it turns out good, you know your printer's calibrated and it's doing, it's doing, it's doing a good job. That's, that's been my favorite print, most rewarding. It's long, but it's a good print. Okay, now I am going to nominate Chuck. Um, I cannot pronounce his last name, Heli Biak, but uh, I'll put his details over here. And um, I'm sure he will get back to us with his answers to these questions. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. There'll be many more to come. Please subscribe. And if I talk a bit of crap, it is because I've had too many wines. Thank you very much. See you next time.